should have come here. So for spells, I used just the druid spells from Forgotten Magic, with the exception of using Raised Zombie uh, at the early stages to level up Conjuration, since both Wild Mushroom and Wolf Pack are fairly high level spells, and I wouldn't have been able to start leveling Conjuration until I got my magic up, like way up, actually higher than it ever really got in the, uh, in the playthrough. So for Healing Touch, the morphs that I picked were Bloom, Healing Stream, Accelerated Growth, Overgrowth, and Vile Infusion. For Earthbound Weapon, I went with Revitalize, Strength of Stone, Earthbound Fortitude, Poison Bite, and Wild Growth for the synergy with Healing Touch. For Seed of Life, I got Vile Spores, Withering Spores, Natural Healing, Seed of Corrosion, and Life-Giving Veil. With Wild Mushroom, I only took it up to level 3 because it, I just didn't find the spell that incredibly useful. If it was a ground-targeted spell that you could lay as a trap, I would have used it a lot more. But because you have to target enemies, I didn't use it as much. Uh, you could probably use it uh, if you just want to do like extra damage when you're in close doing melee But since I was playing on legendary and enemies were doing so much damage to me with my unsmithed light armor uh, I kind of had to focus on taking them out as quickly as possible and trying not to get into too much melee range at least um, unless I had some sort of minion or something to take the heat off of me but anyway I used uh, for morphs I used Envenom, Poison Torrent, and Catalepsy I think that's how you pronounce it uh, so that's basically uh, uh, playing into my poison and paralysis theme that I was going for 
For Veil of Nature, I took the Morphs Wither, Living Energy, Soporific Poison, I think that's how you pronounce that, Hypnotic Gaze, Bestial Wrath. With the Wolf Pack, I took Maul, Taste of Blood, Rip, Chase the Prey, and Ghost Hounds. Now, I would not reuse Ghost Hounds. That made them invisible when we're not in combat, which made it really definite. Sure, they did extra damage when they came out of invisibility, but they're also really annoying to try to avoid when you have your pack around you and you can't see them. So I would have taken something else. Uh, really, just about anything else in that list would have been better than Ghost Hounds. For stats, stone, and race, I went with 10 levels into Magicka, 15 into Stamina, and the rest into Health, and then boosted up the Magicka with all the Alteration perk, and Earthbound Weapon increases your health. For the Stone, I went with the Lady for the theme, and the bonus rate regeneration is nice. And race, of course, is Bosmer. She can really only be a Bosmer. For perks in the Conjuration Tree, I took Mastery 2 out of 2 and Feed the Monster. I never actually ended up using the Feed the Monster, but apparently you can feed human flesh to your wolf pack, which would give them an extra 200 health, magicka, and stamina. The magicka doesn't matter, but the health and stamina could be quite powerful, and the effect stacks, and it lasts for 600 seconds. So that's one way to get rid of all that human flesh you grab from um, you know, harvesting your enemies with. I think Hunterborn gives that to you. Uh, you might be able to do that just through Ordinator anyway. Next up we have a Restoration, which I took Mastery 2 out of 2, which helped out with lowering the cost of Healing Touch in the beginning, and also increased the effectiveness of it. For Alteration, I took Mastery 2 out of 2. Alter Self Resistances, which I took Fire and Frost. And Alter Self Attributes, which I took 50 extra points of Magicka. Uh, later on, I picked up Fancy and Magic. Quadratic Wizard. And Dungeon Master for the... Vancy and Magic spells, which uh, was a really interesting um, way to go. Instead of going with um, you know traditional Magicka regeneration and stuff, being able to cast all your spells without the use of magic, uh, but also having them more more powerful. I really found that uh, quite effective for this build, since it I used the spells more in a supportive role. Uh, for block, I just got mastery 2 out of 2. I actually intended on using block a lot more, but um, once again, because of playing on legendary, the amount of damage that enemies were doing made block a little bit less useful than, it, than just dishing out as much damage as possible and taking them out. For one-handed, speaking of dishing out damage, we get mastery 2 out of 2, furious strength, disciplined fighter, Ravage 2 out of 2, Mana War, and Unleash the Beast. So this made our dual wield uh, short swords or daggers very potent, especially when we add a little bit of uh, poison to them. For Archery, I took 2 out of 2 for Mastery, 2 out of 3 for Steady Hand, Hunter's Discipline, Clean Kill, and ranger now my intention as you can see with ranger and so forth was to do more uh, combat archery but i ended up using my blades more in uh, close combat so you really could completely change these perks around if you like maybe go for doing more damage at distance uh, or if you want to lean into the combat archery side I would suggest going up the tree that that starts with Crippling Shot. For Light Armor, I got a ton of stuff. 2 out of 2 for Mastery, 2 out of 2 for Annoying Mosquitoes, Light Armor Fit, Keen Senses, 2 out of 2 for Initiative, Unhindered, Lightning Strike, 
Wind Runner, Fight or Flight, War Dancer, Survival Instinct, Glancing Blows, and Tempting Fate. So that helped to make up for the fact that we were not um, improving our armor at all. So uh, that allowed us to survive fairly well, especially with the health that we ended up with. Uh, for Sneak, I picked up just Mastery Toot of 2, and that was exclusively for uh, sneaking up on animals while doing my hunting missions. And finally, we have Alchemy. Mastery Toot of 2, Poisoner, and Bottomless Cup. Advanced Lab, Experimenter, Lab Skeever, Green Thumb, and Pure Mixture. So obviously I went for a heavy poison uh, type of approach there. Um, if you want to do more buffing, you could definitely go down the stimulants tree, which stimulants part of the tree, which would help uh, enhance your character quite a bit. I did end up with um, perking up or fortifying my archery and one handed, as you saw at the beginning of the video, and uh, that certainly helped, but probably not as much as if I'd perked more into archery, especially for fighting dragons.